Okay, I'm working on my uh, tap driver here. I took this thing all apart here. This is the uh, tap holder here. The tap goes in here. This goes into here. And all of that was up inside of this tube thing here. So I need to go ahead and modify this. Basically, I'm going to shorten this thing up a bunch. And we're going to go ahead and take this mill holder here. And I'm going to turn it down to an inch and a half, which is what this is. This is an inch and five eighths up in this area, and that's about an inch and a half right there. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this off from here forward at least, maybe a little bit more. And I'll turn this all the way down an inch and a half, all the way up to here. And then from here back, I just cut this off, I guess. So I'll just basically lose about two and a half inches of length off my driver here. I can fit my machine better. So a lot of cutting to do. So these big balls here went down inside of here. And they hold this uh, linear bearing here. What's inside of these things? I got a couple big springs right under here, and probably another one on the other side to spring load it. So, anyway, for right now, I'm gonna try that. I tried cutting this in my lay with a piece of carbide, and it's just pretty much wants to destroy the carbide. What a shocker. These are full hard. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these lugs off with a chop saw, get rid of these, and I'll just come back and start cutting on the rest of this and burn through a few carbides. Well, that's what it takes to make our tools. All right, we got those ears cut off. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, attempt to turn it down. So, see what happens here? That's making all that noise. It's killing a bit too. Okay, I'll work on this for a while. Get a lot of slow cutting. All right, you can see how we got most of this cut off. But you can see where it's gone through the heat tree right here. It was still really hard right through here. So actually, a pretty good step between the two. It's definitely uh, my carbide cutter does not like me. But, uh, yeah, we got a hundred thou or so more to go. Let's keep going at it. Try some more.
by a car, but you can just about force it through anyway. You definitely are forced. Start getting this off here, here coming up. There it is, just going into the mouth. Okay, we're just now getting to true it up to make our final passes. Let's see how close it is. Okay, on the top. There's where I machined before. Pretty accurate. What else when we get to the bad part? Pretty good, pretty good. Then starting to get a little bad. And then look at it. That's the hard, soft spots. We knew that was going to be bad anyway. on top of the over up here there was a material pretty close half a thou it's actually out around eyes are opposite each other which is not how it should be so now we got that so I'm gonna go ahead and put a new bit down in here and we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to true up that battery and see what happens all right, we got this machine down now. We're still about a thou to two thou fat, especially right through here in the hard spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and try my external hone and uh, see what it uh, what it can do. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. All right, here's our external hone. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little pressure on this right here, and that will hone the outside of this and get it nice and rounded through. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Can't do it with a camera on, I need two hands. So let's see what happens here. Okay, after the external honing, smoothed it up a little bit. It took the little hump out here, but it's still one thou fat. So I'm going to go ahead and try to take a, a very, very small trim cut, which is like a thou or less. And then we'll try honing again and see if we can get right on the money. Right now we're at 501 and a quarter. Tool holder is about, about that, so we'll see if it works. Okay, we got a cut, re so, Looks like we're about half a thou fat on the hard spot. Looks like we're about a couple tenths under, went right off the hard spot. And we're right on the money there. So we're good right there. Right up on the edge, we're a couple tenths under again. So, pretty close. So let's see if the tool holder will work. The tool holder here. Looks like it's trying to go. A little bit of out of roundness involved here, I'm sure. It's really, really close. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lap them to fit. Okay, that's too close to deal with. A little more honing right here might do it too, but I'll just lap it. Probably they'll both be fitted each other. This is a brand new piece, and who knows how good it is either. So I'm going to cut the end of this thing off and see what happens. And I got to cut the back of this off too. So anyway, that's what that looks like for now.